the um, from your travel itinerary. Just one word about Max Planck Society. Um, other countries have an Academy of Science. Germany does not have an Academy of Science. Instead, it has a, this Max Planck um, Society named after um, Max Planck, who was a famous um, uh, uh, physicist, a Nobel Prize winner in, in the early 20th century, and who founded this uh, society after 1945. Um, the society has now 80 research institutes, and owing to the federal tradition of Germany, they are not centered in one place, quite unlike France, for example, where, where everything is in Paris, everything is in Paris, with some exceptions, but we have a different, very different uh, tradition. Germany was never a central state, so it is um, wanted that um, the research institutions bring uh, wealth and uh, reputation to different parts of the country. Out of the 80 institutes, 12 are in the field of humanities, and out of these, 6 are law institutes. There is not this one such big law institute like, for example, the, uh, the, the Institute of, of Advancing Studies in, in London, Instead, we have law institutes dealing with different topics. I, you, you are going to the Institute for Intellectual Property in Munich, I see from your itinerary. There is one for social law, also Munich. There is one for European legal history in Frankfurt. There is one for pro, uh, criminal law and international criminal law in Freiburg. Freiburg is a city in the southwest of Germany, very close to uh, the Swiss border close to the city of Basel. Then there is um, the biggest institute, both from the number of staff and the size of the library in Heidelberg, Institute for uh, Public Law and uh, Public International Law, and then finally the institute here in Hamburg for <coughs> private law and private international law. The library has now 480,000 volumes, and we have uh, an annual, um, or we add, annually we add around 10,000 volumes to our holdings. We are particularly strong in uh, journals and law reviews. We have subscribed to 1,950 journals and law reviews, which, which is quite uh, an important and impressive number, I should say. But if you look at the world of law, there are almost 200 countries in the world, so if you divide it by 200, then it's not so impressive, really, um, any longer. Oh, do you cover all jurisdictions, or do you concentrate on some? No, we try to cover all jurisdictions, but, I mean, try means that often you simply don't succeed. There are a lot of white spots or black spots, I don't know how to say it, on, on the map. Many of the successor states of, of the former Soviet Union, there are some who have, I mean, made, found easily um, access to the Western legal publishing, like the, like the Baltic states or Russia itself, Ukraine, but again, a, a lot of states of Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and all these stands, it's, it's um, almost impossible to get literature from these countries. Again, a white spot on the map it are most states of uh, black Africa. Simply no law publishing, either because it's too expensive, or because there's no one um, to do it, or because it's too dangerous, whatever the reason, it's simply there's no law publishing. Uh, third, a white spot on the map is the mini states of the Caribbean. Uh, Santa so and so and Santa so and so and Santa so and so. Uh, it's uh, virtually impossible to, to get literature from these countries. It is uh, a little difficult for us since we deal with private international law, which also means international divorce law, international family law, and um, international inheritance law. Uh, often People come as refugees or migrants because these countries are so poor, but they involve an act which needs uh, 
legal expertise? Are they entitled to marry? Have they been divorced uh, in, in a legal way or whatever? But they come to us because they, their home countries are so poor. But because their home countries are so poor, there's no literature uh, which is published there in order to answer all these questions. Often for our legal researchers, it's very difficult to, to find the answer. I mean, what, the, 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 what they often do then is, is presume that the old colonial rules at the time of independence are, are still in force. And so then they often apply English law as it was in force in 1960, or French law as it was in force in, in 1952, or something like that. Third problem is all these mini states, these Santa so and so, Santa so and so, Santa so and so, they, because they are vulnerable, they have no efficient legal system, they are um, uh, tax havens and havens for offshore banking, which may create um, legal questions of quite a size, um, financially and legally. And often, again, as a librarian, I must say, I'm sorry, I do not have the banking law of uh, Santa Lucia or whatever the place <laughs> is called. But apart from that, the policy is that we try to cover all the countries of the world. That makes us distinct, for example, from the Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, where they concentrate on um, literature emanating from uh, English-speaking countries, basically. Even though Jules Winter told me that they want to widen their scope now and open the library to other uh, fields of, or to other languages. Uh, the policy is, again, it's a policy, but we do, do not always succeed, uh, to collect from every country in the world a, a set of uh, laws, a set of court decisions, and a and the leading law journal. We don't always succeed. Sometimes now the task is, is eased because to, to a raising amount now, um, particularly our legislation is now put on, on the internet, and it's so surprising to find what it is what is published. But of course, at least according to the German legal system, when it comes to um, court procedures and legal expertise, the judge wants to know is this is there um, any authentication? Official, yeah. uh, is it official? Yes. Do we know that this was not just a hoax, or, or <laughs> someone made a joke and said um, in, in the internet that you can only get divorced in, in Nigeria if you have waited for three years or something like that. And, and no one can, there is no authenticity. If, it's just a text which you find in, in, the, in the wide world of the World Wide Web. And so it's not always helpful, but it starts being helpful. Yes, this 